Okay, I have some feedback about grief and kind of information that everybody was kind of looking for. Everything from what is grief to a little bit more into anticipatory grief and all of those other things. So I thought I would start with like, what is grief? Grief is the normal reaction to a loss. So often people think that grief is associated with someone dying and that that's the only way we experience grief, but it's so wrong. That's a big myth right there. There's a big myth. And so grief is a normal experience ex associated with any loss. That loss can be anything from, of course, a, a loss of um, a family member, a pet, you know, someone dying. Um, we do experience grief, but we also experience grief when we experience things like a marriage failing and divorce, or your kids going off to school, or getting married. You know, when your kids get married, there's a grief in that, in the fact of the family is changing. And yeah, it's a happy time, but I, you know, there are people that experience grief with that. Um, not being able to have kids, there's grief in that. Being diagnosed with an illness, whether it's life ending or life altering, there's grief in that. You know, when we have things we've planned in life and those plans are shattered, what we thought would happen, you know, we thought, um, we would have a child, you know, if you have a child with a disability, you know, that grief of what the future for them might be like and the things that you may have, you know, now not experienced with them. There is grief in that. So grief is not just a death loss. There are literally hundreds of different ways that you can experience grief. Um, and so I wondered if there's any that you've experienced that you were like, oh, I didn't even realize that that was grief. And yeah, now that I think about it, I was grieving the loss of something. So to add on to that, oftentimes those losses that are non-death losses are what we call disenfranchised grief, which means that society just doesn't really acknowledge them as a loss. You know, um, pet loss comes right to the beginning forefront of it. You know, oh, it was just a dog. Mm, it's a loss and those feelings are valid you know and the oh you can have another one i've even i've even heard people say that um when someone's had uh, a child loss well at least you can have more children mm, listen people no that their feelings are valid and yeah i know you're trying to make them feel better but but that's not that's not making them feel better it's making them feel worse and so associated with a lot of these non-death losses um, people don't understand and often will brush it off. Oh, you'll be so happy that marriage ended. You two didn't get along. All you did was fight. There's still grief in that. And so that's the part that we need to acknowledge with people and validate for them that, man, this must be tough for you. You know, you, you got married and you thought you're going to have a life together, grow old together, travel the world together and live happily ever after. And here you are now grieving the end of something. So I hope this is all helpful. Let me know if there's been a loss that you've experienced that people just didn't get and kind of brushed it off and set you aside. Um, and if there's any other areas of grief you want to explore more of, or if you want even further in-depth information about this.